Welcome to the Catbird Quilts. I'm Kathy Martin, and today we are at the King's Home Thrift. We've been here before, back in the summer, and today we're gonna be, I'm gonna be looking for some flannel and some white fabric, which I'm trying to keep, or white shirts, which I'm trying to keep in my stash. And also keep an eye out because I'm going to be looking for some blue fat, blue shirt fabrics. Um, on Patreon, I'm starting a quilt with me, which is code for quilt along and it's available to our brunch tier. And we're going to do a project that is accessible for all skill types and all it adjusts for all different size projects. So mug rug, placemat, pillow, full size quilt can do all of those. So I'm really excited and we're gonna even do a group together project and it's gonna be all blue and white shirts. So everybody's gonna hopefully gonna make their white shirt and blue shirt blocks and send them to me and then I'm going to compile them into a quilt top and then we're going to do it as a giveaway for the participants at the end. So I'm really excited about that. If you've been thinking you might want to join us over on Patreon, now is a great time. The official start for the quilt with me is January the 9th. It's been a hot minute since we've done a thrift haul and so we just walked in the door and Paul was getting the camera set up. And while he was getting the camera set up, I thought, well, I'll just look and see what's right here, right next to where he's standing. And wouldn't you know, <laughs> I've already found two linen shirts and a low volume and quite a few other things. So maybe today will be the day. Um, this thrift store is almost empty, which is like unheard of. This is, this is just not what happens in thrift stores. Thrift stores are never this empty. So I'm kind of just don't even know what to expect. Um, and you won't hear it because we'll take it out of the audio. And I say we, and I don't mean we, Paul will take it out of the audio. There is so much metal squeaking in here. It is ridiculous. But um, anyway, so let me show you what I've found already. So I was clipping through here. Um, just like, hum, humdy, humdy, humdy. And, oh wait, look, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> so it's pink tag day, which is half off. And, well, that's pink tag right there. That's just small, but it is per, I have become a purple shirt person. Let's see if it's 100% cotton. It is not, it is 95% cotton and 5% last all. It's going to last all summer long. Um, what song is that? Last all, last all. Uh, it's an eagle song. Somebody's going to come undone. Oh, that's a lovely one, too. That's a beautiful navy. I wish I had had this when I was making my rock quilt. <laughs> okay, so that's a noun, even though it's beautiful. Um, this... We'll think about it. But that was not what I found because obviously I started right here. And this is linen. It is like a terracotta. And it's it's not just linen, y'all. It is 100% extraordinary linen. <laughs> and it's a pink tag. So guess what? Yes, I'm getting that. Um, it is kind of cool out here in the American South right now, um, which our cool is not everybody else's cool. Um, but when we were here before, it was Memorial Day, which is May the 31st. And I found all the flannel, all, all of the flannel, and did not want any and did not purchase any. Um, and that's just weird. And then now we're here, it is November the 1st, and it's like 37 degrees outside. And I'm gonna, you watch, I'm gonna find all of the linen and none of the flannel. But anyway, so I also am thinking that I need to have more green in my stash. I recently went through my fabrics over the break that I took from YouTube. And um, so here's one. 
And this is so unusual. It's got a stain on it. Um, but it almost looks hand dyed. And the inside, look at that. That is not normally what linen looks like. So it's almost like it's been painted. It too is 100% extraordinary linen. So, I, and it's also a pink tag. So it would be $6, it's gonna be three. So gonna get both of those. Um, I just made up my mind this morning. I was having a, been having an existential crisis as of late. Can't tell you why. Um, and I just, I'm still kind of all about the pink. And so I realized that I need to just be letting myself enjoy the pink. So I'm going to maybe be doing some kind of pink project. Saw this one, which I really like, uh, but it is polyester. And I've said it 1,000 times that, oh, I thought that was me. <laughs> Somebody's phone is going off and I thought it was me. Um, you can use polyester, you can use poly, cotton poly blends, but they require more accommodation, so like starch or pins or whatever, and I just don't feel like doing that. So, I'm not gonna. All right. So here's a flannel. It's, um, it's kind of meh, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to really go with the Marie Kondo, like what sparks joy. Um, I've noticed that sometimes when I, when I go on thrift hauls like this, I'll see stuff and I'll just, it's like probably because I can hear you all going, just get it. But then I get home and I'm like, why did I get that? So I'm going to try to not do that as much. I also am trying to keep a steady stream of white shirts in my stash because I have not been to the quilt store and so I haven't bought any white yardage. That one's not a pink tag, so I'm gonna skip it. Um, and since I don't have any white yardage, when I go to make things that need white, I don't have any. So that is pink, but not lovely. That. <laughs> Oof. That is, that is something else is what that is. It is also polyester. And so it's one of those, it's like, I'll pass. God bless you. Another, okay, that's got a gross stain on it. I need to use that in the video, which I have yet to do. But look at this. It's light green on the outside and it's a brighter green on the inside. Let's see if it's cotton. It is. Where's the tag? We gotta see. It has no tag. Okay, so we'll take that and we'll see what she says. P.S. If you are a person who shops and you get to the register, don't ever say, it doesn't have a tag on it. It must be free. <laughs> Because <laughs> people in retail hear that a hundred times a day. All right. Um, <laughs> I know this because I'm in retail, even though it's pharmacy. This is kind of interesting. Besides wrinkled beyond all recognition, um, it's got a like texture on it. It's $3.99, which is not bad. It is a large and it is 100% cotton. So I think I'm gonna get this and then as I'm doing my pink, whatever I'm gonna do, this will be my white. I may find all the green shirts today, look at that. Wouldn't that be wild if I like, I can't even find green. I'm kind of a brat about it. Okay, so this is the, this is the maybe and this is the keeper. I need order. Alexander Julian. Who is Alexander Julian? He's my favorite today. All right, this is $4.99. It is, come on cotton, come on cotton, come on cotton. No, cotton polyester. Ooh, I'm tempted. I might get that anyway. It feels like more like cotton. It doesn't, it doesn't have that slicky 
polyester. Mm, that's, look, these are in the same. Ooh, actually. <laughs> okay, that is kind of garish right now, but could be amazing in a quilt together. Okay, so these are gonna be thinkers. This one's half off, so it'll be 350. That one is five. If this is linen, I'm just gonna be like, ooh. Well, that's a surprise. I thought it was like textural linen, but it's actually got a print. Vintage wash. Yeah, I don't know why I'm even hesitating. Wait, how much is that? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get that. Must be in a getting mood. Polyester, rust colored. I have a purple shirt that is very similar to this. That is 100% cotton. It has the most extraordinary print on it. Ooh. This is a little bit, but you know, I've got that other one. It's gonna read like periwinkle. It's kind of got a sheen on it. Uh, okay, we'll pass. Let's not just go hog log crazy right in the first five minutes. Oof. It's like cardboard. Why am I even, and that doesn't belong. <laughs> one of these things is not like it. This doesn't for that. All right. Moving on. <laughs> that is not true of Paul. He lists, look at this, Paul Martin. It's an Alexander Julian. <laughs> I think I could really use that. Oh. And it's 100% cotton. Oxford? Mm-mm, it's twill. I never thought I would really know things like this about fabric. And then I started talking about fabric on YouTube and learned. I think I'm gonna get that. It's a little high. Okay, so for those of you that have that, I would never spend $7 for a shirt. I totally get that. Totally get that, especially at the thrift store. Um, but sometimes, well, like the other day I was breaking down a shirt and I had all this fabric. And I was like, this is more than a yard of fabric. It was like, a, it may have been more than a yard and a third. And so that's $8 in kind of an unusual color. It's like vermilion. Um, and twill is great for binding quilts because, you know, they get a lot of use. And they're already kind of on the bias because of the way the fabric is made. And so I, I wouldn't hesitate, really, to buy the amount of yardage that I needed to bind a quilt. I mean, like, $10, okay, so this is seven. So, and it's washed and worn and soft. So that's, if you wonder like, gosh, why is she willing to spend seven or $8 for a shirt? That's the reason. I don't know, that's a thinker. So far, ooh, that's interesting. That's almost like denim. I'm not gonna get it because this, would be a stinking nightmare to take apart. And snaps, ooh, and stained, no. Nope. I never find, what is the deal with people and crappy things on the shoulder? What? <laughs> it's like, yeah, gross. That's interesting, but I don't think it's something I want. And here you go. This is one of those, like, if I needed a Bordeaux, seriously soft. That's me about everything. Seriously. 
Oh, we were just talking about this morning. There's this Indigo Girls song that I love. And she says in the song, oh, it's 100% cotton. Sorry. Sidebar to my sidebar. Um, she says, <laughs> I'm not making a joke. You know me. I take it everything so seriously. And even though I laugh a lot, I'm the same. Um, I don't know. What do you think? If I knew, if I thought I was going to be using this color, I would be like, yes, but it's just not, because it's really an interesting, the polka dots is kind of, I'll pass. I'm going to regret it. I'm not regretting it yet, but I'm going to. That's a good yellow shirt. A little on the dinge side, but yellows are harder to come by than you'd think. They're usually like so pale. How much is that? I'm, I'm having all the on the fence moments. So like this isn't on the fence, this isn't on the fence. I need to just move that green to the keeper because it's just like, a, and I need to move that purple too because I just want it. Well, it's just. <laughs> and if you're watching this, you're probably go thinking like, we'll just go in and move the red shirt because you're going to get it too. And I probably am, but I'm not going to move it yet. I was trying to be really budgetary today. Budgetary, that's really not the right use of that word. What do you think about that? No, you don't think so? I wish you all could go shopping with me, like actually be here with me. Or I wish I could go shopping with you so that when you have these moments, you have somebody going, yeah, no, that's a lot of something. Right application could be amazing. Right now, I'm thinking, whew, no. That's pink tag. We thrifters do like that, like, oh, it's $2.99. But goods are more expensive than they used to be. Oh, this person cut all the tags out. That's not true, I just lied. That's 100% cotton. It's kind of, it's kind of muted. It's, it's, and by kind of, I mean very, actually, super muted. Ooh, look at the back of that shirt. <laughs> it's like a, it's like, I, but it looks like a dress. It looks like somebody was trying to figure out how to do a crop top and a skirt underneath it. That shirt. <laughs> oh, here's a pink shirt. Oxford. All right, so here's the other tricky thing that I run into when I do these, um, tall videos. So this is a fantastic pink shirt. It's $4.99. This is a large. Are we just now in? We haven't even moved at a large. My goodness. But I actually just went through my stash. I think I said that already. I have a lot of this color already. So I'm tempted to get it um, because having more of the same, sometimes it's great because then you can do, like I could use pink as a background. But my pink tote is getting really, really full. And so I really don't need it. And I like it, but I have this already. So I'm actually gonna pass. It is so quiet in here that I can hear the buzz of the ballast in the fluorescent lights. That's what that is, right, the ballast? That's super weird. It's like, icky texture. I actually like the underside better than the, that's the underside. This is the over. It's like um, grass cloth wallpaper. And it's $8.99. Heck no. So much for the flannel so far, goodness gracious. I've been thinking a lot about flannel because I've worked with flannel some and it's not you would think, oh, so awesome and easy. And it's actually kind of not. It's stretchier than you think. This is a really weird, weird shirt that I'm feeling right now. <laughs> the thing about flannel is 
it's cozy, but sometimes it's thin. And often it's stretchy. Yes, we were already there, weren't you? I saw it. It's not um, 100% cotton, I don't think. I don't know if it's from Bangladesh. Sometimes those Bangladeshi made shirts are 100% cotton. Well, fart. No, it's polyester, but holy mackerel. That would have been amazing if that had been cotton. So I've done a video on linen and I've done a video on Oxford cloth. And so it's really time for a flannel video. And I don't know if you're on Instagram, you are, you're, I don't know, you are, your apostrophe on Instagram, but it like, my feed is just covered up with people who are making flannel quilts or quilt stores that are selling just all their flannel right now, which it makes sense. You know, we need the cozy stuff. Why am I looking at that, Paul? I feel like I've said your name 15 times. I have. <laughs> and I do that thing that moms do where I say his first and last name when I'm real serious about it. That's also very strange. That is stretchy. I mean, it, I know it's like unremarkable to look at, but it's, I wish you could feel it with me. It's kind of like stretchy blue jeans, but it's 100% cotton, but I'm not gonna get it because I don't like it. Were they looking at us like, what are you doing? Y'all, I love having you with me and you know, it's just the stream of consciousness thing that I do and voicing. It's like no unspoken thoughts, but I can get so self-conscious. Um, that's why I'm so thankful that there aren't a lot of people because people will walk by and those, they'll do this number. <laughs> <laughs> so they'll stare. Okay, this is cool. 100% cotton, XXL, short sleeve shirt. Not really my color palette though. It's kind of that. Country blue from, it's not from the 80s. I love that print though. This is one of those that I would get with the intention of giving to somebody else that loves this style, um, but I don't need to really get it for my own stash. I have found four sweaters along here that I would just take for myself. I have this exact shirt. <laughs> That's funny. All right, moving on. Here's another bright one. This one is, okay, this has to be polyester. It's wrinkle-free, yes. Lux Satin. Well, a bit is under here. Yeah, definitely polyester. I mean, what? <laughs> also, probably does not belong in the men's department. This is Forsyth of Canada. That's the only reason I stopped on this. So, hi to all my Canadian people. Ooh, I'm buying this. It has a little bit of fish all over it. Ooh, it's high, but it's a pink tag. Let's see if it's 100% cotton. It's not. I'm so sad. So now I have the thing, like, do I get it? And then just starch the ever-loving crap out of it to make it do. Mm, I've already got too much polyester in my cart right now, I think. Gosh, that makes me sad. Well, it doesn't really make me sad. I will probably save myself some work down the road. This is where I say that unless I really, really like it, like I don't use polyester unless I really, really like it, that is pretty fun that it's a men's shirt that has fish all over it. <laughs> we'll see. Was this one polyester too? What am I doing? And this is a small. Still a lot of shirt in that, still a lot of fabric in that shirt though. Oh, that's 95% and last all. I, I wish I knew what that was code for. Is that code for plastic, last all? And now I'm back to that Eagle song again. Oh, that's a great shirt. 
yeah, I'm, what it will before I say that. Oh, it's five ninety nine. That's not bad. So super great because it's really big. It's very soft, and it's that wonderful green that would be amazing for Christmas projects. And even though we have past Christmas, um, it's just a really good, like, there will be another Christmas, Lord willing. And that would be great binding. That would great, be great piecing. That would make a wonderful, like, if I wanted to make a Christmas tree. Okay, that's enough about that. Ooh, so that's, please be cotton. All right, so this is a, this is a green that I actually really, really like. It's kind of, it's almost like sea foam, 100% cotton. It's got these little fuzzy dots on it. It's a 2X, that's a woman's shirt. Cause there's no way that's, oh, it's got darts. Might get it anyway. So it's an Oxford cloth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If the pink tag drive it home, that was the thing. Like if I was putting together a colorway. Actually, hold please. Mm, no, not quite, but still. Ooh. <laughs> That's a knit, but I just couldn't. I could not, oof. So, um, Hawaiian shirts, check if you have like not ever gotten them before. I usually pass up on them because a lot of times they're not 100% cotton, that one isn't. But the other day I found a double XL red and white Hawaiian shirt that was 100% um, cotton, so. What do you think about that? I kind of like it. Oh, and it's pink tag and it's $2.99. That is a dollar fifty. I'm totally buying that. That's amazing. So this is lycra and cotton, but it's got that fun inside. What do you think? Thoughts? It's two fifty. Yeah, yeah. You think so? Okay. This proves the point. Why I don't use cotton poly, except when I do. <laughs> I'm. You may have noticed I'm picking up lots of blue shirts, and as I mentioned in the beginning, somewhere maybe in there, getting ready to do that. Um, quilt along, they're not calling a quilt along, and the group project is gonna be blue and white shirts together, so. It's very thin. Oh, you know what, it has darts on the back and it's thin. Forget about it, forget about it. This has crabs. Embroidered crabs. And that's all I'll say about that. It's a medium and it's short sleeve, but that's a, that's a good print. If I didn't have any blue and yellow in my stash, I would totally get that. Dang it, the pink tags today. What is that? Is that just like leaves? I think that's leaves. I'm looking to see if this is cotton. It's very small. It is cotton. Because it's, it's like the wrong color. It's just the wrong color. But I love the print on it. And it's pink tag, so it's 250. But I struggle with that color in mustache, yeah. Yeesh. 
So there was no flannel. What in the world? Should have bought it this summer <laughs> when I didn't want it. All right, so that's the long two rows. Um, I guess we're gonna turn off the camera and now we're gonna go look for things for our own house. <laughs> I'm Kathy Martin. This is the Catbird Quills. Thank you so much for watching.